to Chaos Fail with Edmond Incorporated, and once again we're here at Lone Grove and Mall. Uh, today we're going to be getting quite a bit more done. We're getting uh, a, a filler up and running because a lot of people suggested it, and it's almost a possibility here. And the other thing that we're getting done is a small molecular assembly chamber, which is the automated crafting portion of uh, applied energistics. So we're going to be putting that together. Probably just a 3x3, three three. you can make them bigger, but we only need a 3x3 three three for the moment, because we only needed need to make it a few things. Uh, I've already set up parts of the rolling machine that we'll be automating today, and I've also grown a ton of different rubber, rubber trees and grav guns their pieces around, so we shouldn't have much problem with rubber for a while. I shouldn't have to, I shouldn't have to uh, steal that from anyone. Uh, but that's the quick intro, so let's get to work. Okay, so, uh, ooh, actually, I've got a few things in my inventory that are a bit of explaining. Bunch of crystalline lead, because as suggested, I put together a bit of the factorization line, which is a grinder, which took a lot of lead, a mixer, which was relatively cheap, uh, and a slag furnace, and I've been using that to, to maximize my lead profits. Uh, so let's just stick those into the furnaces and these I love watching that. That's so fun. I, I, I saw it on Gar's video as well, and he still has to fix his uh, furnace setup a little bit, but meh. I'm sure he's a big boy, he can do that himself. So, the things that we need to make are a filler, which requires a crafting table, a chest, a landmark, which I think we have a couple of spare, and some golden gears, and that should be fairly straightforward. So let's grab the gears first. I don't know if we have any in stock. Oh, we have two in stock. Well, three in stock. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so, need some cobblestone. I love being able to search through this. It's so handy. And that gets us two gears. Then we need some iron. We have so much iron right now. OMG. Okay, and now we need some gold, and that will get us our gold gears. Doop, 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 doop. Ba -dum. It's so helpful having just immediate access to everything. So nice. And do we have any landmarks? Yes, we have two landmarks left over, uh, mostly from when I've been setting up quarries. And now we need a chest, so let's grab some logs. Let's see, one for the crafting table, two for a chest. Two, three. Where you go? Doop, 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 doop. Crafting table. Chest. And then we mostly just need some dyes, don't we? Some dandelion yellow and some ink sacks. Uh, which we don't actually seem to have, but that's fine, because we can take some of our bone meal and cycle it using our uh, shard of mini... hello? Hmm, I might be missing a minium stone. Ah, well, we can make that as well. <laughs> it's going to be a long day of crafting things, I'm afraid, but uh, at the end of it, we're going to have the assembly chamber, which means that we won't have to assemble almost anything ourselves ever again, as long as we've done it once before. Uh, let's see, gold. These are gold. Some iron. Doop, 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 doop. And the thing that we should be plentiful for, some stone. Now, as you can see, I've put the um, igneous extruder from the supply depot up at the top there. So it's pumping directly into the, uh, into the interface that controls our furnaces, so it can just keep making cobblestone as long as we like it to, really. Okay, so there we go, that's a nice new minium stone. I had a mild mishap uh, not too long ago with the... I can't do that that? Hmm. Well, that's fine, I can just grab some flowers, because we have plenty of those. Ah, you can turn them into roses. Hmm. Okay, let's just grab two, because we need them. Do do you Let's see, light blue, magenta, orange, ink sacks, there we go. 
So helpful. And we can we can tell the system to do that itself later on. Uh doop doop. Let's get everything back into place. And there we go, that is a filler. Now what a filler does is it takes an input of a given pattern, of which it has a, it has a variety, and they're made from predominantly brick and glass. Um, and it has all of these resources, you feed it power and it uses those resources to fulfill whatever pattern you've given it. So you can use it to clear out large areas, uh, sort of like a quarry. A lot of people used to use it as a very cheap quarry, but uh, there is now a mild problem with that, which is that it no longer lets you keep the items. Okay, so let's plonk this down here. Oop, get inside of me, landmark. And I made, I set up these landmarks a little while ago just for a large area. This is a maximum size area, so this will probably be going for quite a while. Uh, especially since we don't really have access to a fantastic source of buildcraft power as yet. But our next thing for the day is to be setting up a molecular assembly chamber. Oh, and that one fell to oblivion. Oh well, that's why I made spares. And we can then tell the machines to make them themselves later on. So the next thing that we need is... Oh yeah, I've been working on the bees. i got a few diligence. I've got two near-pure diligent drones, which are unfortunately kind of useless because I've been trying to get to, to imperial drones and imperial bees, which give me um, royal jelly, which I need to make the machines that allows me to super bees, to uh, make super bees. But oh well, oh well, oh well. Okay, so, we're going to predominantly require some containment wool. Let's see, there we are. Which is going to require iron, gold, and quartz. Not unlike our medium stone, oddly enough. And let's see, we're going to need, let's see, 8, 8, plus 4, so 20 of these. So, gold. Doop, 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 doop. Iron, dupe, 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 and some quartz. Now I actually could do with getting more quartz, because it takes a lot of it to uh, work with this stuff, but um, I think I'm probably going to make a rock cutter. I'm going to indulge in some of Greg Dex additions. Um, before I go out mining, because I learned that you can actually macerate uh, the uh, the quartz ore blocks, and that will give you like ten quartz dust, which you can then of course compress into the crystals. So that seems like a pretty good trait to me. So let's see, let's get this put together now uh, before I forget anything. Pick this up because it doesn't need to be there, and we need this to actually connect to things. So, do, 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 there we go, and you too. We can pick these up with our pickaxe if we happen to misplace them. Yep, although we haven't this time, which is remarkable because my frames are being very funky today. Uh, I know there's a lot of people who worry that, like, say I have great content but terrible frames, which is, yeah, I would say that was accurate, really. Um, uh, it is presently Wednesday as I film this. This is the usual day this, this episode would go up, but uh, I've spent the last couple of days in the labs uh, getting university work done. And my dad was supposed to come around yesterday to, well, yesterday on Monday, to take a look at things, but alas, he got held up by a house job. As my, my my dad's schedule is unpredictable at the best of times, but um, he's hoping to come around tomorrow at some point in time. Let's see, iron bars, iron, and ME cable to make heat vents. We're going to need uh, six of these heat vents, so let's see, how much cable do we have? ME cable. Um, that should be, should be a hardship here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take those out so I don't try to use them. Doop, there we go. Okay, and now we are going to need some iron bars. 
I should probably just fight by searching iron. Oh, we already have four already. That's a nice little shortcut. Unfortunately, I only get the one heat vent for doing this, so that's less of a kindness, but oh well. It is blisteringly hot here. That's not a sentence you will usually expect to hear from me, but uh, it is really warm in the house at the moment. Okay, let's grab that. Let's get rid of these ones. Doop. Okay, and back in with that. And in with that. Four. We need one more batch of the iron bars. There we go. Yeah, but one of the, but one of the great things about the um, molecular assembly chamber is even the smallest ones have a fairly big uh, storage. So you can just stick in these recipes and it will automate hit you and they have it automatically make whatever you want. Including larger versions of itself. So it's it's great. It's basically um, a ah, uh, what is the phrase? Um, a a maker bot or whatever it is. I know there's a specific like scientific phrase for them, but I can't remember what it is offhand. Let's get some night because I found out, as you can see by the creeper over there, this place is now a mob trap. <laughs> the 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 mall is so large and now completely lit up that. Mobs will spawn everywhere, given the slightest chance. Okay, yeah, so we just fill in the walls with our heat vent. And we'll leave one out. Whoop. We'll try to leave one out. Uh, for a little bit, so that I can actually put in the next component, which is a pattern provider. And this is going to be the most annoying one to make. Uh, because it requires... A storage cell, an advanced processor, and two conversion matrices. Conversion matrices also require these basic processors, which are kind of a pain to make. But we shall endure. That's why I brought over this redstone from the bees. Uh, so let's see, we need the quartz cutting knife. And we need some silicone. Well, some silicon, I should say. Silicone is something different. Uh, the redstone. Doop doop. And we're going to need some gold for the processors. Uh, I think. Let's take a look. Okay, so there's this processor, uh, which requires a diamond, which we can do. So that's one diamond for that, but the gold ones are for the conversion matrices, so two for that. And I think it's a gold one for this as well. Yep, so three gold processors. One, two, and three. And a diamond one, uh, which we have a fair, a few diamonds, but oh well. Okay, and that should be all the processors we need. So let's jam these in here, and they should happily appear wherever we want, wherever we want them inside of the network when they're done. Okay, so then for the conversion matrices. Look at me using big words. Redstone, iron, and quartz. I'm going to need two of these. So, redstone. Doop, doop. Iron. Doop, 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 doop. Quartz. Doop, doop. And our processors. Yep, there they are, all happily turning up. Okay, so two of these. We could make a third, but that's not what that one's for. That one stays out here. And now we need the storage cell. Uh, which is... Four quartz and a redstone. It's kind of annoying. If I try to search things in here, then it just ends up in this terminal piece. A little annoying, but oh well. Do, 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 do. Nearly there. Doop, 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 doop. Yeah, if this ends up being a short episode, it's because I am baking. It is so hot around here right now. Okay, and there we go, our one storage cell. And that, combined with our diamond processor, uh, plus a crafting table, which I don't think we have in supply. Nope, pack crafting maker there. And let's get a log. Doop, 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 doop. 
Okay, and these go there. That goes there, and that goes there. And what is it that surrounds it? Wall quartz, probably? Nope, it's iron. Hurrah! I like it when the quartz is used sparingly in this, because, eee, so much of it. Uh, but let's see, iron, and that should give us our craft, uh, our craft by our packet provider. Now you put one of these in at least... The molecular assembly chamber needs at least one patent provider. There's also uh, CPUs, which allow it to craft things faster, but the patent, you need at least one patent provider, because otherwise it has no storage. It doesn't know what it can make and how. Uh, but once that's there, we place this last vent. And there we go, it is all hooked up, and if we check our controller... It is now recognizing that the patent provider and all the other pieces are there. So we can make some patents and tell this thing what to make. So, let's grab some rebar. Uh, which we need to tell it to figure out how to make. Uh, but that's not a problem, so... Uh, did I put a recipe for it in here? Hmm. No, I didn't. We need to make some... We need, we need to make some rebar real quick. Uh, one, two, three... And into here. One, two, three. And we need to give a redstone signal to that thing, don't we? Hmm. Huh. Do we have a lever around? Oh, wait, yes we do, because there was one next to the filler. There it is. Let's borrow that for a second. Get it within me. And let's just yank that on there for the moment. Okay, wait for that. Now with the rolling machine, we can put the materials in easy enough. The main question is going to be how do we tell this electrical engine to run or not? Because if we leave it running just all the time, it's going to eat up every piece of power that we have, which is not good. The engines don't really know when to stop. Uh, do I have any blank assemblies? Has any blank patterns? I'm pretty sure I do. Because I made a few of them. Um, did I leave them in here? Is that where I put them? Yes, it is. And apparently I put a marbled queen in there. And some guest tears. But that's for another thing. Uh, which we shall probably see at a later date. So, let's see, I need free iron out of here to mark this recipe. Iron. One, two, three. Actually, I only really need the one because it marks it rather than places it, but nonetheless. Yeah, no, we don't need the handle, we need the rebar. And for that, we do need the actual volume because otherwise it won't. No. Uh, do, 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 do. Just take that under one. There we go. Encode. And now we have an assembler pattern that knows how to make rebar, but this one goes in here. So now this interface knows how to make rebar and stone. So we don't need it there, we need it right next to the rolling machine. So do we have another interface? No, we don't. Hmm. Well, that's something we can work on for next time. But for now, uh, since we do have the rebar, I can put in a pattern for concrete. So let's grab a piece of stone. And... In here, let's see, the recipe is there, there, and there, and there. And there, 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 and there. Yep, and it recognizes the recipe automatically, so let's put that in there. And that creates an assembler pattern for a block of concrete. Which, this, we do put into the assembler. Which only has this one page of storage, but it's still a fairly sizable storage, so we have a lot of recipes in here. So, if we pluck that in there, the assembler should now know how to make concrete. So, if we switch over to craftable, we can see we have stone, which comes from the interface, and we have concrete. So, let's tell it to make... Uh, it's going to fail because it doesn't have the rebar. Actually, I've just realized that. Uh, but we'll, uh, I'll put together an interface, and the interface we will have to put next to the rolling machine there. And that's where our rebar recipe will go in. And then next to the electric furnace, we'll probably just have a lever for now, but later on we can have um, 
a level limiter, or we can go into build craft pipes and use the gates to check if the rolling machine is able to actually make anything, and then it, then we can use that to turn the engine on. But uh, we shall save that for the next time, because I am baking and the episode is getting long. So, doesn't look like much, but we have now unlocked a whole mass of time-saving devices. So, uh, hope you've enjoyed anyway. Catch you next time. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and or a favorite. Follow me on Twitter and subscribe to be notified of future updates. You can also check out the website where most other content is uploaded. That's all for now. Catch you later.